Hey, welcome back. I uh, have a new tool I wanted to show you guys and a little bit of philosophy I wanted to go into regarding kind of what's on the table right here. But uh, as far as the new tool, uh, here it is. This is the uh, 32500HD Klein Impact 11-in-1. Um, I swear I'm not sponsored by Klein. I just really like their multi-bit screwdrivers. And uh, yeah, this is similar to their uh, original 11-in-1s, um, obviously with some differences. Uh, as far as how this relates to the original 11-in-1, it's your you know kind of flip shaft uh, screwdriver that's got a bunch of different bits on it. Um, it's got quarter and 3 16 flat, and then you take and flip this guy over. And then you've got one and two square. You've got a 5 16 get that to focus. You got a 5 16 nut driver. The holder here doubles as a quarter inch nut driver. And then you flip it over and on the other side, uh, you have one and two Phillips. Uh, and then flip over and this, it's a little bit different from the original 11 and ones. Uh, is just a regular, it's a little slick, regular quarter inch magnetic nut uh, bit holder. Um, I have a combo bit in there right now, but it comes with a T25 Torx. Uh, and then your 3 8 nut driver there. But what makes this one, the probably the most interesting feature about it, being called the Impact 11-in-1, is this little bit right here. You pull that out. And these are just, you know, kind of impact drive, not drivers. So they'll fit right into an, uh, right into an impact. And uh, both sides do that. And now essentially, at least with this, you have a six in one on the end of your impact. You got the five sixteenths and the quarter inch nut driver. And then uh, whichever of the three double sided bits uh, you want it on it, or, you know, with the three eights, uh, you could just have that magnetic bit holder and use whatever bit you wanted to. Um, so a whole lot of function in it. Uh, it's pretty neat screwdriver and this might become more of my everyday, uh, screwdriver, um, because of the size. And that's kind of where I wanted to lead into this, uh, philosophy I was talking about uh, called tool density and you know tool density basically meaning how many different f uh, functions and um, features can you put into one tool for its size um, so you know one I've obviously talked about before is the 20 and one well the super screwdriver um, what used to be the 14 and one with a seven and one uh, handle or seven in one socket set you get separately. Now the 20 in one, uh, which, you know, again, this isn't the one that it comes with, but same concept. You have 12 regular standard quarter, uh, quarter inch hex bits in the handle. Um, so obviously those can be swapped out to whatever you need. I've got a couple of, of, uh, Vera flathead bits and a couple of hex bits that don't, or Allen bits that don't come with the screwdriver in there, um, cause I use those pretty often. Um, and then obviously all of the different nut drivers and, uh, the impact capability as well, where with this guy, you have, uh, essentially six different double sided bits and then, you know, a seventh bit, whatever you want it to be and four different nut drivers. Uh, sorry, I forgot to mention. Uh, the half inch hex and the handle. This is the same with the original uh, that acts as a half inch nut driver as well. So there gives you your 10 in one and then 11 being the impact capability. Um, but it is a smaller tool. Um, you can see the handle's definitely uh, a lot thinner and the tool is a lot shorter um, roughly about the same weight, I would say. I think this one's balanced a little bit better because it is a little bit shorter. You have a lot of weight out on the shaft with this guy, but, um, a good bit smaller tool 
just less function. And um, I would consider another function being the more proprietary uh, style, like double-sided bits uh, that you can't just replace as easily as the good old standard quarter-inch bits. So I've considered that uh, a type of functionality as well. Um, I got a couple other ones in here, obviously the Super Stubby. Um, and I just recently picked this one up as well, the Klein Mini Ratchet. Uh, this is a bit holding ratchet. It comes with a little holder set that's got a one and two Phillips and a quarter and three sixteenths flat and this little, uh, if it'll focus, yep, quarter inch square drive um, bit for quarter inch sockets and then a quarter inch nut driver and a five sixteenths nut driver on the back. So being able to get into little tiny spaces, um, I kind of just took the bit holder and threw it in the bag and I leave the square drive up here because it's different from what I have in my other two screwdrivers. And if I need any bits, if I need any short bits, I just get them out of the stubby here because they are the same ones. Um, plus it'll fit full size bits as well. So um, another tool that I definitely would consider to be a, a tool dense, a uh, tool that has a lot of functions are these. Um, these are the Knipex forged wire strippers. Um, I have essentially a Klein version of these, kind of like the hybrid style uh, stripper pliers. Um, I think it's the heavy duty wire strippers is what they're called. Uh, I like those. Uh, I'm really, I really like the functionality of it, um, but Knipex just makes a way better uh, uh, stripper and a lot of a lot of good cutters and pliers in general um, these are super sharp uh, they strip wire really well they cut extremely well the cutters on these are great and uh, I really like the threadless uh, screw cutter you just have to push the screw in cut it pull it back out and not have to thread it in cut it and thread it all the way back out um, yeah, these are just awesome. I may do a separate video on these and kind of compare these to the clones in the future. But um, to explain a little bit better the concept of tool density, I uh, figured I'd use that as an example. And for the most part, uh, as far as doing a good majority of the electrical tasks that I need to get done, uh, it's really just like these two here or, uh, you know, just these two here kind of thing. Um, and as far as kind of certain tasks and things that um, these wouldn't, you know, the, something that has a lot of tool density um, wouldn't be good for that I still keep some dedicated stuff for the, in the bag for is stuff like uh, this. This is the Vera chisel driver. Um, I think it's the 10 millimeter flat and uh, Vera's, you know, Vera's German. So they all of their stuff is in metric um, but having a strike cap um, kind of solid tang big flathead screwdriver uh, is extremely useful um, using it for knocking loose really tight lock nuts or having to chisel out uh, kind of notch out wood um, as well as a bunch of other things just a, a nice big beefy flathead screwdriver that you, it's made for you to beat on um, is an excellent thing to have. Also stuff like, uh, you know, hollow shafted nut drivers. I've got a whole bunch of different nut drivers here. Um, but if I got to get on a long piece of threaded rod or a long, uh, screw or bolt or whatever, um, having those dedicated, uh, hollow shafted nut drivers is excellent. I just really wish I could have just the shaft hollow that would still be able to fit in this handle like that um but just the shafts um because then that would save a lot of space in my bag it would just basically be six of these in my bag and not six or eight of all of this with all these handles that i have to that take up a bunch of space um and then another thing as well is insulated screwdrivers i know they make kind of flip shaft and multi-bit uh, insulated screwdrivers but I really just like my dedicated ones and plus with the dedicated ones you can get the super long uh, long shank ones um, to be able to reach far back in a panel 
uh, or you know get a good amount of standoff from uh, from a panel um, so those are just a few kind of more dedicated things that's a little bit harder to get uh, into uh, to, to densify um, to, to uh, kind of condense down into one tool where I've got you know three two or three different of these long ones I've got a couple of smaller ones as well um, I've got a bunch of these in the back I really like I said I really wish that I could get just these shafts that would a fit in an impact and b have the little notch to fit in the handle um, Klein if you're listening uh, and then also just having something nice and sturdy to just be able to whale on with a hammer or your your lineman pliers obviously you know electricians you know your nines or your hammer um, that a multi-bit screwdriver would definitely not be good for so um, so yeah just a little explanation into that um, maybe it's something that you guys haven't thought about that you would consider uh, kind of taking a look around at um, and you know just kind of getting to check out another cool Klein product um, I really like Klein's multi-bit screwdrivers um, and then if you can't tell uh, as far as dedicated screwdrivers I really like Vera uh, their handle shape is is fairly comfortable for me um, I've heard a lot of people on both sides of the fence say it's not super comfortable or it is super comfortable I like them um, I really like their insulated their insulated screwdrivers and the uh, the chisel drivers are pretty cool too um, but yeah just kind of wanted to explain a good bit of that and uh, show you guys a couple of new products so with that I'll see you later